He is coming off the best season of his career, and he's joining us now, the two-time All-Star Anthony Edwards. Thank you, as always, for stopping by NBA Today. Appreciate y'all for having me. Of course. It's a busy time of year for you. On top of the playoffs approaching, being named to the Olympic team. Congratulations, by the way. Sprite also reimagining its 1994 Obey Your Thirst campaign. Pretty iconic. You're front and center. Tell us a little bit more about that to start. Um, it's a great, it's a big deal, man, you know, to bring it back, bring the Obey Your Thirst campaign back, um, you know, and with, with Grant Hill, doing it with Grant Hill, so who originated it, it's, it's a big deal, man, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to be in it. It's a lot of fun to watch you in it as well. Um, let's get to the court, because the playoffs are here, you're the number three seed in the West, the race for those top spots, it literally came down to the last day. How much do you take from that final game of the season against Phoenix that you're going to apply in this first round? Um, the, I mean, the last three matchups against Phoenix, they beat us to the ground. So, right. um, you, we got, we got to come out and establish some, some physical physicality. Um, you know, just trying to be tough, let them know that we ain't going to get pumped the whole series. So we just got to come out and establish that. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it. The Suns, they gave you, I wasn't going to say punked. I was going to say a little bit of trouble, but sure. We can go with punked during the regular season. What do you want to show personally in this matchup? Um, that the double team really can't stop me. Um, that's the whole goal. Um, cause the, they've been doing a great job of putting two and three people on me and I've been letting it bother me, um, and stop me from being aggressive and getting my shots up. So I got to show that it doesn't bother me. We have a friend of yours here, uh, a former teammate of yours as well, Austin Rivers, who I know has a, a question for you about this matchup as well. Yeah. What's up? What my guys? Guys? Um, you know, <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm already, we're slowly getting that name off the books, bro. I don't need that. <laughs> this is business. Back, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, this is business. Um, you know, this, this series intrigues me more than any other. You're going against Devin, mm. and this is a guy who people regard as the best two guard in the NBA, and you've always been the guy who's right behind him. Is this a series where you look to take that step? Do you believe you're the best two guard in the NBA? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I think this is the matchup that I wanted personally because, mm. you know, they got two of the best two guards in the NBA. Like before Brad went there, he was with Washington and he was averaging 30. And um, Book been the best two guard in the league for a minute. So, um, yeah, this is the series, the matchup that I wanted to showcase to the world that I'm, I'm the best player and the best two guard in the world. Well, it's not just you and Book, love though, that. Ant. I, I love that, too. When you when we sat down over All-Star Weekend, you reminded me that Kevin Durant is, in fact, your GOAT. So how do you square the task with he's your greatest of all time and you need to send him home in order to advance this postseason? Um, so now that I know those two guys will be playing alongside of me at the USA, um, <laughs> at the Olympics, I mean, it, it's kind of bragging rights at this point. So, I mean, that's, that's as much ammo as I need. All the bragging rights on the line. How far do you think your Timberwolves can go this year now that you know your playoff path and you know Carl Anthony Towns is back? Um, I think we can go real far, man. It's just this series right here. We got, we got to get this series right here because they, they've been a tough task for us the entire season. So we come out and, and, and punch them in the mouth and get this series and, and get it going, get it under control, and, you know, keep it in our hands. We'll be all right. Before we move on from the NBA, that, that nickname for Austin one more time, I, I might need to invoke it a little bit here on set. Macaroni Tony. Macaroni <laughs> That, yep, we're going to font you like that on every show from here on out, Austin. That's how we're rolling from here on out. When you think about where you're at, Ant, in your career and how far you can go, what percentage do you think you're at between where you're at now and your best that you could possibly be? I'm about at, I'm, I'm probably at like 40% right now. 40%, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, for sure. I'm just in year four, man. I think people forget that I'm 22. Like, I'm not even touching my prime yet. I'm just 22 in year four. Still trying to figure out, like, my spots and where I like to go and what side of the court I like to be on. I still ain't figured that out yet. But, um, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm just about, like, 40%. I, I think, you know, we're two or three years away from you being the best basketball player in the NBA. I'm going to make sure it is, too, because I'm going to stay on you. And we're going to get the for awards sure. in the summer, too. Two or three years yes, away. Trying to beat me again. Two or three. Is that is that a prophecy that you're you're willing to take him up on? Two or three years, you're going to be the best player in the NBA, Ant. Yeah, I 100 percent agree with him for sure. About two or three years, yeah. When you look ahead to the next, when you're you're only four years in, when you're ten years in, what are you going to have under your belt? What is successful? What is synonymous with success for you? I mean, I don't know. I can't. I'm not going to sit up here and speak on something that I I, I don't know. Um, but. I will say that it's going to be scary and it's going to be a lot of trouble. Like 10 years in the NBA, um, 
That means I found out everything that I needed to know. I found out my shots, my spots. My shot is way more consistent. I'm way more efficient. That's the only thing. I'm just trying to get more efficient, more efficient. That's every year go by. That's the main goal.